Hi, I'm Luke Schwagel. And I'm Anna Gentlin. For KSDK, where the news comes first. Our first story is in St. Peter, Illinois. A 15 year old St. Peter's boy was uh, fairly injured early Friday morning when he was struck by a car while riding his bicycle on Illinois Route 185, about a mile and a half east of St. Peter. Nathan Hort was hit from behind the southbound pl- by driving by Sandra uh, Geyser of Boonstown, Illinois. Hort and had been riding his bike from the center of the road. Weather conditions were poor, according to news release. It was prior to daylight. Hort was pronounced dead at the scene at 6.22 a.m. F- f- by by the county police, Bruce Bowen, the cat. Crash remains under investigation by the state police in Illinois, for a FBI team. An auto spy is scheduled to be performed at St. Anthony's Memorial Hospital. Back to you, Anna. Well, in Chamberlain, Illinois, Campaign County Sheriff Dan Welch says an says investigations are tr- investigators are trying to determine the origins of a human skull and other bones found in the Middle Fork River. Walsh says the news <coughs> released Thursday that the skull and, o- and other human bones were found in early August in the river, where it flows through the Middle Fork, pres- pr- preserved about 25 miles along northwest of Chamberlain. The sheriff says a four-day search of the area turned up a few more potential human bones. Walsh says it appears that the skull may be more than five years old and perhaps much older and unrelated to a crime. Investigators plan to try to extract DNA from the bones to learn more about them. Walsh says the Illinois State Police Crime Lab is involved in the investigation. I have a very interesting story for my next story. It is happened in Chicago, Illinois. A 55-year-old man on Chicago's south side says he is still trying to figure out what prohibited a longtime friend to attack him with a chainsaw. Preston Smith tells the uh, Chicago Sun-Times and he, he believes his neighbor was a lot intoxicated with his, with his he lunged at Smith nearly cutting off fingers on his left hand. Chicago police say the incident on the Washington Heights neighborhood took place shortly before 2 a.m. on Wednesday, after the men were drinking together in a backyard. CPD spokesman Michael Suppleman says Smith's fingers were still attached when he was taken to Associated Christ Medical Center in Oak Lawn. With his stable in stable conditions, no, so far no arrests have been made. And this is our developing story for the night. We will give you more information on the story as it comes into the newsroom. Yeah, we should keep the chainsaws away from our dads when they're out in the backyard. Drinking. I agree. Okay, and well, for the last news report, a man took. A man planning to glide over Bush Stadium in a wingsuit Friday night has been grounded. Alexander Paul was scheduled to make the jump at 6 p.m. and glide across the Mississippi River at 130 miles per hour into Illinois. Local, local government and federal administration, administration have raised security concerns that are delaying the jump until further notice. Okay, I'm now going to take you to the other side of the studio with sports. Okay, my name is Luke. I'm here with sports. It's, I have first our Cardinals sports. Our first report is on Yadier Molina. Three hits with a pair of doubles to raise his NL leading average to 335 points ahead of the Braves' Chris Johnson, who had a pair of singles. Now, I have a little bit more on our Rams story. 
a back back travel oh Joe Blensman traveled for the St. Louis Rams pre season game on Saturday at Denver because of an infection on a cut one of his hands. And now Anna has some more with you guys on our weather. Well, here's our seven day look at. As you can see, it's mostly going to be sunny with clouds. On Sunday, the high of 93 and a low of 71. On Monday, a high of 93 and a low of 73. On Tuesday, a high of 94 and a low of 73. On Wednesday, a high of 27 and a low of 24. On Thursday, a high of 94 and a low of 77. On Friday, a high of 94 and a low of 74, and on Saturday, a high of 95 and a low of 73. And here is like an overall look, and um, there is not really any bad weather coming in. There might be some later on in the night, but so far, we have not caught anything. Got anything. So, back to Luke. Okay, I have a little traffic for you guys. Uh, our, one of our bridges in St. Louis has some interesting facts that I have. So, we have only one story for traffic tonight. Right? For the first time in more than nine months, all lanes of Black Bridge are open. All five lanes on eastbound and westbound open just after 12 o'clock this afternoon. Traffic has been restricted to 170 over Missouri River since November, while crews replaced the westbound bridge. Construction will continue under the bridge for months, but there will also be various lane closures at night in the middle of the day. But rush hour traffic will be regularized. And now, that concludes our newscast for tonight. Please continue watching us tomorrow on KSDK when the news comes first.